people want to see more people who look like themselves in the movement. You know, I personally want to see more people who look like me in the movement. The Environmental Justice Department to me is all about uh, capacity building and storytelling. I'm here in the New Haven Green, a 16 acre green space here in downtown New Haven that's known for its tree canopy, its concerts, and even its rallies that bring people together to address climate change. How could you tap into power that people didn't even know that you had to make a difference and move solutions forward? Today I'm talking with Alex Rodriguez, pronouns he, him, who's an environmental justice specialist with Save the Sound and moving nature-based solutions with our water, with our land, with transportation, and so much more forward. Who are you? I'm Alex Rodriguez. I am uh, an activist, uh, an organizer. I, I am from West Hartford, Connecticut, and I live in New York today. I grew up in West Hartford. I was born in New Britain, Connecticut, raised in West Hartford, Connecticut. Growing up in West Hartford, I had a good childhood. I grew up playing Nintendo with friends, grew up with a love for emo music, Blink-182. You know, when I think about uh, childhood, I, I, feel, I feel blessed uh, to have grown up with my parents and them instilling in me their sense of justice and me taking that and making my own sense of it. What's the influence that you feel your family or where your family comes from has had on just uh, how you see the world? I'll say. Having uh, relatives impacted by Hurricane Maria, uh, my family is from Puerto Rico. We had many family members impacted. My mother and my grandmother uh, were impacted by Hurricane Maria. Mm -hmm. It took a couple weeks to get in contact with them after the Category 5 hurricane struck wow. Puerto Rico. Yeah. It took a whole month to get them home, and they were the lucky ones. Witnessing the difference in response to Puerto Rico versus Texas after they had been impacted by a severe hurricane as well, it really screamed to me that environmental racism is real and that I needed to continue organizing and helping people realize that our impacts, no matter how small here, do have bigger impacts on a national or international level. So that's why I organize. I organize because I believe that the world can be better if we empower people uh, to share their stories uh, and take action. What did you want to be growing up? I was a cadet for many years in the Civil Air Patrol program. They brought kids together to learn about emergency services, military customs and courtesies, and aerospace education. I've flown a plane 10 times, you know, I, I took flying lessons, and uh, that was really cool as a kid. I had it in mind that I would you know, join the military, but fortunately I didn't because I have asthma. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's, I think it's okay that things uh, turned out this way. When I was disqualified for uh, having asthma, I really got into civic engagement. Could you tell me a little bit more about like, where we are? We are in our Save the Sound office in New Haven. This organization has been around for 50 years. Uh, we are a regional environmental organization leading on climate, restoring ecosystems, uh, protecting Long Island Sound and its rivers, and uh, protecting endangered lands. This work to me is all about love. It's about stewardship. It's about people's health. Health is um, my driving force uh, for this work. What would you say are your own superpowers when it comes to um, the work you do and just how you show up in general? I'm patient. A lot of this work won't be won the first year. Pushing this stronger environmental justice law there have been three iterations uh, to date. Pushing this third iteration of it has been a three-year long process. I would say that another superpower of mine is I like being around people. I like listening to them. I like talking to people candidly about solutions to problems that are rampant. 
I like to talk about people that some elected officials think have no power mm -hmm. and like that some fossil fuel lobbyists think have no power and turning out in big numbers New Haven climate movement we've collaborated with on a couple of rallies I really got to tip my hat to them because they are the effective mobilizers New Haven climate movement was an effective partner uh, when we were pushing another pro-climate resolution called the Transportation and Climate Initiative Resolution. I had pushed that resolution in three other towns and uh, New Haven Climate Movement uh, helped us make our case to the Board of Alders that this needed to be done because New Haven craved access to more electric school bus infrastructure and electric transit infrastructure. You know, not so much about cars, but collective transportation. How is the work that Save the Sound does a climate solution? I've been organizing for seven years. I'm proud to say that I worked with 40 organizations and about over 100 individuals uh, to push a stronger environmental justice law in the state of Connecticut following New Jersey and New York's environmental justice laws. The environmental justice department to me is all about uh, capacity building and storytelling. Uh, that's been very rewarding to me when people share their story uh, so that their stories uh, become mine and when I raise them in my advocacy and when I invite uh, these people who have shared their stories with me to speak with uh, the lawmakers themselves. Uh, it's twice the impact. A young environmental leader named Adrian Huck, uh, who identifies as non-binary, they have led the New Haven climate movement to impressive heights. They helped push a climate emergency resolution in the city uh, and are working to get the city of New Haven to dedicate municipal funding to uh, climate resilience projects and uh, to allocate more money to weatherization and to solarize uh, municipal buildings in the city. People want to see more people who look like themselves in the movement. You know, I personally want to see more people who look like uh, me in the movement this environmental justice department is very important to me and uh, it's it's really awesome to be a part of this work is there advice that you have for other people who want to make an impact uh, when it comes to just the the issues that they care about most including the environment and climate i would say uh, do not underestimate the power of joining a local board or commission when you join a local board and commission and attend their meetings, it's a really good way to learn about uh, environmental issues locally. Many municipalities have other boards and commissions for different things like an LGBTQ commission, a human rights commission, and so forth. It's a good opportunity to meet like-minded people and uh, some of them might be employed by the type of uh, industry that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. How could people support you and the work that you all do at Save the Sound? You know, by participating uh, in our Connecticut Coastal Cleanup Series, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be hosting uh, cleanups all across the state. If you uh, go on our website, you can sign up to host your own cleanup. We will help you and uh, we will bring supplies uh, to uh, help do so. There are opportunities to engage with the water quality team to take samples of uh, potentially impacted areas of water in uh, several areas of the Sound between Connecticut and New York. If you were interested in participating in policy work, Connecticut and New York legislative sessions are out for the season. Come February of Next year, the sessions will be back. We will host uh, lobby days uh, and invite our base to uh, participate in those lobby days. So that is uh, definitely something to keep an eye out for. In my role as uh, environmental justice specialist, you know, developing this environmental justice program at Save the Sound, 
I'm working to expand my engagement into New York, connecting with uh, members of the Long Island Sound Study, helping uh, organize those forums will really help inform my department on where Save the Sound can make the most meaningful impacts in New York and in Connecticut, but in solidarity with community. That last piece of it being in solidarity with community is really critical. My family really emphasized how important it is to, to share, uh, make a lot with a little, Think about who isn't in a room uh, when important decisions are being made. Think about staying true to my roots. Don't forget where you came from. Always be myself. The, those are the major things. Yeah. Hi, I'm Alex Rodriguez, he, him pronouns, and I am an environmental justice specialist at Save the Sound, and I am helping the world reach drawdown by organizing for environmental justice in the Long Island Sound region.